A state lawmaker wants to make threatening an elected official a felony. Representative Kyle Mullica is carrying the bill after receiving an email last year that threatened the lives of him and his family. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us from the Capitol tonight. Sean, the threats came in response to a bill that he had carried. That's right, Karen. The bill would have made vaccine exemptions more difficult. Representative Milica knew when he got into politics that it would be vicious at times, but he says death threats weren't part of the deal. His bill would have made threats against elected officials a class four felony, putting elected officials on par with prosecutors and judges. But today, he pulled the bill after leadership in his own party said elected officials don't deserve special treatment. This bill is about one thing and one thing only. Representative Kyle sure Mullica was pushing a controversial vaccine bill when the emails started arriving. A dad accusing him of purposefully wanting his son dead. A woman threatening death by hanging. And an anonymous writer saying the world would be better if his home burned down with him and his family in it. But I don't think we have any place for threats. So Mullica introduced a bill that makes threats against elected officials a felony. There is a uniqueness to being an elected official, to being a state representative, because the policy that we're passing is affecting millions of people. I have so much respect for Representative Mullica. But the House Majority Leader Alec Garnett, who once wore a bulletproof vest on the floor because of a death threat. I'm in the chamber of the House of representatives and I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Says he doesn't think elected officials deserve special treatment. I've been threatened where I've had stalkers who have shown up to my house, where there have been interactions on social media that have targeted my family. Um, but, you know, I signed up to be um, uh, in this job and to be in front of the public and to make these tough decisions. And we do live in sort of a hyper partisan world now. Um, but all of that was something that I knew going into the job. I disagree that, you know, that harassment or intimidation or, or threats of violence uh, is necessarily part of the job. We want to have those difficult conversations and, and we want to have those passionate debates. It, but we have to draw a line too, Sean, that um, you can't threaten people to try to get your way. I asked Representative Mullica if he believed in this so strongly, why pull the bill? He said, he wanted more buy-in and that he plans to bring this bill back. Critics say, you know, this bill isn't needed. Prosecutors can already charge under the harassment statute and this wouldn't do anything to deter threats. But the Colorado District Attorney's Council says this isn't about deterrence. It's about treating the crime with the seriousness that it deserves. Harassment carries a maximum six months in jail, a class four felony, six years in jail. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean, thank you.